Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Paz's Casa. That's me, Paz, here at my casa. So, let's see here. <clears throat> I got a giveaway going on. I think y'all like it. It'll be pretty fun. I wanted to see me get to uh, 700, 600, 600. But the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to add something else to the 600 su subscriber giveaway. So we obviously got Nethroy. Apex of, uh, what is it? Apex of Death. There we go. That, plus, I'm throwing in a full art. Catch me a trial, baby. Alright, so. To the first subscriber. That is fully noticeable in, you know, YouTube's viewership. Whatever, it, make sure your subscription is turned on. That's what I'm saying. Um, you will automatically get this foil Slither Wisp, and there'll be two other cards with it. So that's the next subscriber. And then I'm going to be asking a question later on in this video, and it's going to be about uh, my older videos. So, uh, it's going to be a two-part question. So, you'll have to give me one answer, but two parts. Maybe two questions. I'm still trying to think of it, but I know I got the gist. But I'm going to have every... I'm going to have Wooburg. Foil cards. There we go. They're all foil. The front one's foil. Except for... Except for the one where... But there are some spicy cards in here. I think so, anyway. But there's the giveaway. This is going to be for the, you know... It'll be... Every other, every other episode, I'm going to do one of these giveaways. So then there's, you know, you guys are getting some cards. I'm not loaded. So I'm trying to work this out with myself. And this is how I'm going to do it. And I hope to get more subs. And let's get on to the comma. I'm excited, are you? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here we are. Welcome back. Alright, pause. WTF, why is there a cup of water? On your playmat of all places, why would you do this? Well, Joe, Bob, Mary, Joe, whoever's asking me this. Oh yeah, that's another gun in my head. Um, when I think dinosaurs, you know, I think about, you know, being able to tell when they're coming. And the only way to tell that is... By the ripples in the water. Yeah. They're getting close. Alright. Here we go. And those beasts, they come with power. Just like this one right here. Yeah! Helic glider. Squirrel! Squirrel! Did you see it? Alright. No, that's not in my deck. I just thought it'd be cool. Maybe it's just me. Alright, so... Here we go. I'm not a professional. I do not do this daily. Well, I guess I do, don't I? But, here goes my deck. First off, the comma, Primal Calamity 6. A green, a red, and a white. I believe it's Naya. I'm going to kick myself in the no-nose, as my son would say. Legendary creature, Elder Dragon. Dinosaur. 
Got dragons in my mind. All right. This is the great part about Zakama. When Zakama Primal Calamity enters the battlefield, if you cast it, untap all lands you control. Ka ching That'll be a ching uh, Two and a red. Zakama deals three damage to target creature. Two and a green. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. It's amazing. And then, two and a white. You gain three life. So we're getting life and we're kicking people's butts. I like it. But I had to add... Zerda. The Dawn Waker. Wow. Alright. Why did I do this? Because of the camp companion theme. It's white and red. Which... Zerda, the Dawn Waker. Legendary creature. Elemental Fox. Companion, each permanent card in your starting deck has an activated ability. You bet your butt it does. Abilities you activate that aren't mana abilities cost two less to activate. This effect can't reduce the mana in that cost to less than one mana. And... Tap Zerda in one. Target creature can't block this turn. Huh. That's amazing. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Who is that? That is Gishath, mother trucker. Dirty. Huh. Five. Red, green, white. Uh, legendary creature. Dinosaur avatar. Trample, Vigilance, Haste, when Gishath, Sun's Avatar, deals combat damage to a player. Reveal that many cards from the top of your library. Put any number of dinosaur creature cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library. In a random order. Cutching. Loving it. <clears throat> then we got, oh baby. Galta, 10 and 2 pips, as old school would say. And 2 green. Legendary creature, Elder Dra Dinosaur. Probably going to say d Dragon at least once or twice more. Galta Primal, co Primal Hunger cost X less to cast when X is the total power of creatures you control. And it's got Trample. Trample is a wonderful mechanic. <gasps> Ooh. Ah. Whoa. What are you doing getting ahead of ourselves? We're talking about Trample. Well, hell. This has Trample too. Vorinclex. Voice of Hunger. Six and two green. Pips. Boop, boop. Uh, legendary creature. Raider. It's got Trample. Whenever you... you Tap a land for mana. Add one mana to your mana po pool of any type that land produced. Whenever an opponent taps a land for mana, that land doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. <laughs> Great card. Ooh, where's my bell? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, if you guys see anything different that looks like it needs to be removed, let me know, please. This is my first dino deck. I, I hope I did all right. There's one card that I'm going to be questioning if I should put in it for something else. And if you guys believe. All right. Here we go. Courtwood Crasher. Should it go in this build? I would appreciate all your info and your foresights and your knowledge so anybody leave a comment please next bloom ancient we, we know what this one does triples our mana baby and we've got some crazy cards coming all right triples our mana uh, uh, atali primal storm whenever atali primal storm attacks exile top card of each player's library 
Then you may cast any number of non-land cards exiled this way without paying their mana cost. So, <laughs> great card. Love this card. Stompy. Regisaur Alpha. For three, a red, and a green. Oh, look, it's a dinosaur. Other dinosaurs you control have haste. When Registrar Alpha enters the battlefield, create a 3-3 three, three green dinosaur creature token with trample. Beautiful. More stompy creatures. Ooh, so pretty. Three and two green. Seedborn Muse. Thank you, Dr. Cause. That's where it went, right in this deck. I believe I said it would go. Creature Spirit. Untap all permanents you control. During each other player's untapped step. So that's obviously going to help us out with some mana too. Wow. All right. Snapping sail back is a dinosaur. Oh, and it's got flash. Look at that. When snapping sail back is dealt damage, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Well, heck yeah. We're going to put some counters on that puppy. All right. Crest, herd color, dinosaur, three and two green. Creature dinosaur, trample. When crested herd color enters the battlefield, create a three, three green dinosaur creature token with trample. I can't wait to play this. Sifting ceratops, we're shifting into gear, baby. Here they come. Two and a, two green dinosaur creature. This spell can be countered. So you were in deep doggy doo if you were running blue. <laughs> Protection from blue. Shifting Ceratox gains a choice of reach, trample, and or haste until end of turn. <laughs> Great card. Loving it. Woo, Ripjaw Raptor. Two and two green. Enrage when Ripjaw Raptor is dealt damage draw a card there's a, some of our card draw very nice very nice yeah. baxter just hurt doesn't matter if i'm hugging a camera or not all right Gorklaw, terror of call sisma legendary creature bear why is that in there well Creature spells you cast with power 4 or greater cost 2 less to cast. That's why. And when Gorklaw attacks, each creature you control, power 4 or greater, gets a plus 1, plus 1 gains trample until end of turn. Alrighty then. Positive cause with the Raz. And we're back. Great card, great card. Ooh, Territorial Allosaurus. Two, a green and a green. Kicker, two and three. Or total is three. You kick it. When Territorial Allosaur enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, it fights another target creature. You bet. And then Knight of the Stampede. Two less to cast your dinosaurs. That's always great. Forerunner of the Empire. If you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and pause for the cause of Wizard of Oz. Shalai, Voice of Plenty. Three and a white. Flying, planeswalkers you control, and other creatures you control have hexproof. That's what I'm saying. Four and two green. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on each creature you control. So either way, when i am got creatures out, I'm wanting to pump them up. All right. Runic Alasaur. One, a green, and a green. Creature Dinosaur. Whenever an opponent activates an ability of a creature or land that isn't a mana ability, you may draw a card. Heck yeah, we're drawing cards. E-Witness. One and two green. Human Shaman. When Eternal Witness comes into play, you may return target card from your graveyard to your hand. 
Very, very nice. Ooh, Corso Crucifix. Great card. One, a green and a green. Enchantment Creature Centaur. You get to look at your library whenever you want. And you may play the top card of your library if it's a land card. Doesn't say tap, though, does it? Isn't that wonderful? When land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. So, can't go wrong with that. Thrashing Bronodon. This is uh, enchantment and artifact removal at its best on a creature. And we can give it trample or what have you and do some damage. Love that card. All right. That is Ranging Raptors. Two and a green. Whenever Ranging Raptor is dealt damage, you may search your library for a basic land card. Put it into the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. We're getting our mana out. We are going to get ready to pump and dump. Wood Elves. Beautiful card. Two and a green. All right. Where are we at? Oh, my hands messed it up. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. When Wood Elves comes into play, search your library for a forest card and put that card into play, then shuffle your library. I love that card. The artwork's great. Who was it? Who was it, you say? It was... Oh, come on. Can't even see it. Well, alrighty then. Can't even read it. Sorry. Respect, though. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ravenous dagger tooth. Two and a green. Dinosaur. Enrage. Whenever ravenous dagger tooth is dealt damage, you gain two life. We're gaining some life. Can't go wrong with that. Ooh, there's another one right in the no nose. Right, sucked them to them. Dryad of Elysian Grove. Two and a green enchantment creature nymph. You may play an additional land card on each of your turns. Lands you control are every basic land type in addition to their other types. Chromatic Lantern on a card. On a creature. Love it. Ooh! We got a tireless tracker. Two and a green. Human scout. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, investigate. And sacrifice a clue. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on tireless tracker. Yup. We've got frilled death spitter. If you want to read that, you go right ahead. I'm going to skip through a little bit of this. We've got Watley's Raptor. Good card. Proliferate. I've got some more Proliferate too, baby. It's coming. Sky Terror. Not like we need much of that with all the reach that we've got going. But I put it in there. Low low curve. You know. Got to have the ones and two drops. Cherished Hatchling. That's a one in, one in the green. Whenever a Hatchling dies, you may... Cast Dinosaur Spell this turn as though they had Flash. Whenever you cast a Dinosaur Spell this turn, it gains when this creature enters the battlefield. You may have it fight another target creature. Good card. Even though it's an uncommon. These are great cards. I love them all. Raptor Hatchling. You can read that if you'd like. Guilt Doubt Damage, create a 3 3 green dinosaur creature token with trample. Craziness for two. One drop pelt collector, gotta have it. Gotta have the pelt collector. And we've got Priest of the Awakening Sun. More dinosaurs. Alright, so Possible Cosmic Wizard of Oz, we're gonna go to. Or what's next? We're going to do some Planeswalkers. And we're back. Look at that. Nissa who shakes the world. That's my one of two Planeswalkers I've got in this deck. Nissa. 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 
beautiful Nissa to Foily. It's beautiful. And Vivian Reed, I love this card. It's nuts. You want to read it, go right ahead. You can pause it. Next. Oh, that's a clever magic Trevor for us right there. And that's the one from Jester King. Thank you. We got a Plains. Mountain. And another mountain. Those are the regular lands in the deck. All right. So now we're going on to sorcery. Instance, you name it. Start off with this beautiful thing right here. Cutching final finale of devastation. If you would like to read it, go right ahead. Nylea's invention. Beautiful card. I love the art artistry, the action that's going on in this photo. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then we got Idealic Tutor. Got to be tutoring up some stuff that we need to find. Traverse the Outlands. All right. We've got Securitas Route. Got to love it. Got the guild, guild gates in there. Yes, sir. Explosive. Diarrhea. Vegetation. Huh. It's amazing how these cards can help out a deck so much. Cultivate. Ramping up. Ramping up. Kadama's Reach. I love that artwork. That was from Mr. Bevers. Thank you, Mr. Bevers. Shout out to you. Great card. Rampant Growth. From that that place right there. Naya's Charm. It's Naya build. Pause, you darn idiot. Naya. My bad, folks. There we go. Naya. And then we got El Dummy's Crow Call. Who are you calling? It's pause. Pick up. Are you there? No, I've left the building. All right. Well. Wow. Heroic Intervention, that's going down a little bit, but it was up there. Seeing a reprint, you gotta love it. Ooh, I love this card. The artwork is phenomenal. Hilliard's Intervention, gain life, or get rid of some artifacts and enchantments. He, the other player doesn't need, right? Ooh, Teferi's Protection. That came out of a mystery box. Speaking of mystery boxes, pause for Cosmic Wizard Oz. I've got seven spots left in this mystery box that I've got. And I know you guys want to pull a crypt or something snotty. Whoa, I almost fell over. Seven spots. Let's get these taken care of. And I'll crack it open. And you guys can get some crazy nuts cards. I've got faith. I got that touch too. There we go. All right. If you want to get in on it, my info will be down below. PayPal, you name it. Teferi's Protection. Beautiful card. Ooh. Yeah, baby. The Great Hinge. Gain life. 1 1 counter whenever, whenever a creature 4 or greater comes into play. Or is it, oh, it's a non-creature token. Or a non-creature enters the battlefield under your control. Put a 1-1 counter on it and draw a card. Nothing wrong with that. It's a little steep, but we can get there. Especially with spell costs X less to cast. I mean, X is the greatest power among creatures you control. A Thran Dynamo. A little bit of ramp. Ooh, I'm picking dinosaurs, wouldn't you say? Icon of Ancestry. If you'd like to read that, go right ahead. It'll search us up some dinosaurs. Give us a plus one, plus one on them. Great card. Ooh, and a swift foot boots. Put that on, like, the comma. Or Gishath. <laughs> a little bit of boot, booty action. Booty call. 
bring, bring, answer it. It's a dinosaur. Because it's going to have hexproof and haste and trample. I'm assuming there will be trample. Lifecrafters bestiary. Yeah. At the beginning of your upkeep, you scry one. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may pay X. Oh. I can't speak right now. You may pay one green if you do draw a card. More card draw. Chromatic Lantern. I might be able to remove this and put that Quartzwood Crasher in there. What do you think? I might do that. Let me know in the comments below. Oh, look at that. Thanks to... What is it? Booster Therapy. Thank you, guys. That's a great card. The artwork is phenomenal. You betcha. Ooh, smothering teas. Smothering teas. Smother them teas. With these dirty nuts. All right. Smothering tithe. We all know what it does. If you don't know, there it is. Read it, brother. Sister. Ooh, there it is. Got him. Oh, yeah. Double season. That's a gorgeous card. I'm so excited that I got to pull it. If you'd like to read that, go right ahead. This is starting to be a... I don't want it to be a 30-minute video. Guardian Project. Great card. It's starting to go up in price. Pick yourself up a playset. It is definitely a great card. Nylea. Keen-eyed. as another enchantment creature. God. Indestructible. We all know what she does. Too bad she doesn't have reach. But I might be able to give it to her. Rhythm of the Wild. Rhythm is gonna get ya. Da -da 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 -da. Creatures, spells you control can't be countered. Non-stop. Non-token creatures you control have riot. And we are pumping them up. We got Zenikar Resurgent. Last but not least... Willis Reclamation so we can untap our lanes and screw people over. Yeah. Mm, tap it out, baby. All right, there's that. What do you guys think? I'm excited. I want to run it. And then I will show you the lands. Lands are exciting, kind of. Blossomy Sands. Uh, Riftstone Portal. There you go, if you want to read it. Selenia Sanctuary. Temple Garden. It's gone up. Gotta love the garden. Temple of Plenty. Stirring Wildwood. You betcha. You betcha. Kissig Wolf Run. Loving it. Loving it. Westfell Abbey. That is a, a a flip card. You wanna read it? it? Says sacrifice five creatures, transform Westville Abbey, then untap it. So once you do that and you flip it over, you've got this beast. Profane Prince, demon legendary creature, flying lifelink, indestructible in haste. It's all over. With a 9-7. <laughs> yeah. It's all over but the crying, baby. It's not a... It's not a... Can't even talk. Not a dinosaur, but... It'll get some damage in. Alright. Temple of Abandon. Rootbound Crag. Stomping Grounds. <laughs> Stomping Grounds. Cinderglade, Rugged Highland, Highlander, that's what it is, only one may stand, Sacred Foundry, oh, try and sit down for the rest of us, my back's starting to hurt, I'm starting to sweat, TMI, right, alright, Temple of Triumph, Clifftop Retreat, 
Winscrag. Winscard Crag. Stone Quarry. Oh, yeah, that question that I was going to bring up. So, uh, I've got a question here for the first part of the giveaway, step one. What was the video called when I pulled the Mana Crypt? Hold on to that thought. And for the next six packs that I crack open, there's going to be another word that you're going to have to write down. And then on the third video, I will be giving away one of those Wooberg foils and the cards behind it. All right. Boros Garrison. Grove of the Guardian. Hope you guys can see this all right. There you go. And Fabled Passage, which is getting a reprint. Castle Garenbrig. Good card. Oh, look at that. Castle Embreath. Pump and Dump. Unclaimed Territory. Ooh, Relicor Tower. Good card. No maximum hand size. Rogue's Passage. I would appreciate everybody's input. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know about it. Cryptic Caves. Field of Ruin. Here we go. More creatures. Zombie. Zombie. Field of the Dead. Mother Trucker. Terramorphic Expanse. It's expansive. Best card in the game, Mother Trucker. Evolving Wilds. This is the new one. I love the art. It's foiled. Oh, it's gorgeous. All right. And last but not least, Temple of the False Gods. All right. So, yes, I would appreciate all your help in letting me know if I should actually take out that Chromatic Lantern and put in the Quartzwood Crasher. Do you guys think that would be a good idea? What should I do? Question mark on the quartzwood. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh, peace. I'm out. Don't forget to tell somebody you love them. And bring somebody magic. Pay it forward. Huh.